Hey, it's those foresters! On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! We love shadows and prey! Blood. Fresh. That's father's car. <laughs> Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester, squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Lord Forrester gave me this sword. Hmm. Forrester. I should have known. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Come get it, you bastard. All right. 
Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig. Mercy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Thank you. Lord Whiteheel will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Father? Garrett! You survived! Your sister! She hid! I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two Whitehill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the Whitehills won't see it that way. We can't very well let the Whitehills walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Uh, 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 
These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important, then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. The Ironwood Grove. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. This might help. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. Mm-hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. No, you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. 
Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. I'll admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Only time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... So sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He loved his family, my lady. He was very proud of Roderick. Yet he was unable to save him. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. They deserve to die. All of them. I say we fight. Ha! Listen to your nephew. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our lord. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. 
I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. <laughs>